come to you today to show you um, a project that I'm working on. I wanted to make some flowers, like a flower arrangement for my uh, glamour room, um, my glam room. Um, so I wanted to kind of decorate it a little bit, but I wanted some flowers to put on my desk here. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you what I purchased first. Um, I did go to Dollar Tree. Don't sleep on Dollar Tree, guys. Don't sleep on them. They had these flowers. Because you know my theme in this room is the pink, black, and white. Okay? You know that's the theme. So, I got these flowers. But because it was Halloween, guess what they had, guys? They got black roses. If anybody that know me know that I love roses. I have a rose tattoo. I have two rose tattoos. And I just love roses. You know, even when I'm dating somebody, when a guy buy me roses, it's like the world to me. Um, so, roses have always been my favorite flower. Um, it doesn't matter what color they are. I just love them. But anyway, they had black ones. So I was like, oh my gosh, like I can go ahead and do my vase with that. So this is the vase. This is a, a jar that I already had. So these are the items you, that you'll need. You'll need a vase. And this one I already had from when my son and my dad sent me flowers to my job um, for Mother's Day. Um, so yeah, I never did a video about it, but yeah, my, my father and my son sent flowers to me at my job on Mother's Day and it surprised me. I got them the Friday before Mother's Day and it just brought tears to my eyes. Or was it Valentine's? I think it was Valentine's Day. It wasn't Mother's Day. It was Valentine's Day. My dad and my son sent these. I got them that um, day before Valentine's and I just had tears in my eyes because I don't have a Valentine. So it just made me feel loved. It made me feel special. So it came in this vase. So those flowers are gone. So I'm going to use this. So this is what you're going to need. You need a bowl such as I have. And then you need, um, this is called Craft Artisan, uh, Artisan, excuse me. Um, it's a foam, so you need some kind of foam to put in it. Again, I got this from Dollar Tree. Don't sleep on Dollar Tree. So we got the foam. We also have our flowers that we are going to use. And then we have, which are our artificial flowers. And then we're going to use scissors. So let's get started. You first want to take the plastic off of the foam. And you probably can get this foam from Michael's, Joann's, Fabric, anywhere like that. But I made sure that it would fit in my bowl. Okay. There you have it. And then this black one came with spider webs on it. We're not going to use that. We're And it came with a spider. We're not going to use that either. Um, all we're going, we're actually going to throw that away um, because we're going to use these individual um, roses. So we're going to cut as far down as we can because we always can cut it a little bit. Um, and I should have used my fabric scissors instead of my hair scissors. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to cut some of these off. So again, all you're going to do is cut these off. And we're not going to use that. We're going to throw that away. So I want to cut some of them off. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I probably bought too many. Um, but if I did, I can just create a new one and put it on top of there. Um, as you can see, these are looking beautiful. Now I'm going to cut some off of a pink one. And I want them the same length. So let's go ahead and um, use one of these that I already have for the length. I had to end up changing sister scissors because my other ones were hair scissors and these are more crafty. So yeah. Um, they work better. I don't want to mess up my hair scissors. So I had to change from the scissors to my craft cutter because my it started hurting my finger. But anyway, this is what I have. I have all these little pieces and I'm going to decorate them somehow with three at a time, hopefully. So let's see what I can come up with. And all you're going to do is just stick these in here. 
Okay, this is my first time doing this. So if I'm not doing it right, don't judge me because this is the very first time that I have created something like this. Uh, how do I want to do that? Yeah. Very first time. Oh, you kind of want to push them in there. Um, what do I need? Black? Oh, probably going to have to cut some more black ones and pink ones. Um, I don't want to put the same color beside each other, so. And what I'll probably do is get something to cover this vase. That'll be next. Um, I have a lot of fabric, so I'll probably end up doing something zebra print around it. I'm sorry. They put this paper on here, and I can't get it off. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I'm going to need some more black ones. That was exactly why I got more than... And you know what? Let's do this. <laughs> Let's just stick it here until we get this all straight and to, to the way I want it. I'm trying to fill the outsides first. Okay, and let's cut some more black ones because I need some more black ones. This is my last batch of black ones, so I need more. So let's go ahead and get some more black ones going. So here is the final result of the flower arrangement that I made for my desk in here. Um, I'm still playing around with it, trying to shape it up. Um, there's one flower, something sticking out there. I don't know which one it is. But what I'm trying to do now pretty much is just shaping. Just trying to mix the flowers up. Make sure that there's not too much of one color in one section. Making sure that there's a space for the white, the black, all the above. Um... So just play around with it and until you get what you want. Um, and like I said, I'm going to cover this with something one day. And I'll do a video on what I create for that. Um, but this is just a little... I wanted a little flower arrangement for my desk here. And this is pretty much... I like it. Um, I'm going to move this white one over here because... It actually, there's no white in there. So I'll move that over there. So, yeah. Just play around with it until you get pretty much what you want. How you want to shape it. And again, these can bend. So if you want to bend them, you can bend them. Um, it doesn't matter. But the, the arrangement is based off of how you want it. And this is... The colors that I want. Um, if I want to bend some out, I, I could do that by just bending them out like this. I don't know. You can see. Just bending them out like that a little bit. So that it can kind of make more room. Because they are a wire on the inside of it. So you can bend them. So don't be afraid um, to do that you can bend them into the place that you want them to be so so there you have it my little flower arrangement that I made and yeah there's one in here that I gotta fix I'm sorry I gotta fix this there it is 
because it's sticking. There it is. All right, there we go. Okay, so let me keep playing around with it until I get it the way that I want. I just want a little round puffy shape flower. there you have it guys don't forget to rate don't forget to subscribe I want to say hello to all of my new subscribers I do see that I have some new ones so I want to say hello to you guys and I wanted to just do a video of me doing something crafty because I never did a craft video on my channel um, not that I can think of but this is something that I wanted to do for my desk here and I will probably put it uh, right here in the middle is where I will have my flower and then I'll put my other thing there my ink pens will probably end up moving over here and my candle will stay there I don't want a lot on my desk just a little bit and so um, that's what I wanted to show you guys. These things I'm just going to throw away. Um, so, yeah. Um, there you have it. A craft from Diva Kiki. Um, don't forget to subscribe and rate. And if you want to leave a comment, do comment below. And come take this journey on with us. And at every end of the video, I always say, don't forget to what, you guys? Love somebody. All right. Bye.